Hi guys, another video to show you how to properly adjust the belt tensions uh, the different belts that are in the head of a VL3000 or a 3500 spot uh, the color mixing module is all the same uh, you, whether it be a spot or a wash or a 3500 or you know whatever model it's usually this color mixing that's in it all the belt tensions on all these motors are going to be the same uh, what you need to do is you loosen one screw so you're able to you know pivot it like this so what you need to do with those belts is you just lean against it you don't put extra pressure on it because it's going to be trying to bend the module and the shaft and it's going to become rattly and noisy uh, if you pull too hard on it or if you try to do some fast movements it might lose its position so you just lean against it and then you tighten the, tighten the screw again. So all these wheels, all these belts are going to be the same way. You just lean against it and you lock it that way. Don't put any more pressure on it that, than you have to. So that's for the color mixing. If we go on the other side on the fixed color, color wheel. Uh, this one is a big wheel. And the strap, the belt is fairly small, uh, which means that it can wobble a little. So, you know, it can go like this. So if you do a fast spinning and you try to stop, it may just wobble ahead of the sensor or just behind it. So it will try to find its position again. So this belt, for the fixed color wheel, you need to lean against it and then you put a little more pressure on it so because that one needs to be like really tight so don't put too much pressure on it as to break it or stretch it too much but you lean against it and you put a little more pressure on it so that's going to be your fixed color wheel uh, if you don't do that if you just put the same pressure on it as you do in the color mix uh, when you'll do fa fast movements and stops and you know back and forth like this it'll lose its position so this one really needs to be a little tighter. So if we move to the gobos, you got the gobo indexes, which is gonna make the gobo spin on itself like this. And you got the gobo rotate, which is gonna spin the wheel. Now the way to adjust the index belt because uh, if you see it needs to be flappy a little because if I put too much pressure on it when I try to move it you'll see that the wheel will tend to rotate so if you put it really too tight uh, when you're operating the machine you'll turn on the index and your whole wheel may begin turning and lose steps and then it'll have to rotate and find its sensor again so the way to adjust this Let's say I put some more pressure. You see the wheel turns. You just give it a little hit. And you're supposed to be able to index the wheels without the other one rotating. And that ends up leaving this belt a little flappy. And it needs to be like that if you want it to roll and to be smooth. Because if you put too much pressure on it, then the wheel spins and that's not good so tap on it a little a little more you see like this should be fine so what do you do for the gobo rotate uh, basically it's the same as the color mixing you lean against it you don't need to put any more pressure on that one and it'll move quite well so the gobo index needs to be a little loose these are lean against just regular pressure same as the color mixing you only have the fixed color wheel that you need to put some more pressure on it because this one is a big wheel and you don't want it to wobble like that and other belts uh, you have one for the zoom inside we rarely adjust that one if you need to you just loosen the screws right there and on the other side 
and the, you see the spring, the spring will put the good tension on it. So I did a video earlier with a VL that had a tilt drag problem. So that one showed uh, the way to properly adjust the tension on the tilt belt. So you can check that other video. I'll do another one for the pan belt that's underneath because uh, I'll have to flip this one all over uh, and take the bottom up. So hope you enjoyed the video. This is the way to probably adjust the belt tensions in a VL3000 spot. So hope you enjoyed. Share, like my YouTube channel, Facebook page, and uh, tune in. I'll show some more stuff. Thanks.